Our first stop was Lake Moraine, a crater lake similar to Crater Lake in Oregon. And it is equally gorgeous, not quite as cold as the last time I was at Crater Lake. We had a wonderful breakfast and I'm actually really curious to see what else comes up today. No. All right, eggs, Benny and bacon, ladies first. A beautiful and delicious first stop. What a lovely tea house. Family owned for three generations, been up here since the 1920s. Lots of history and lots of tasty bites. Can't imagine how much more I'm gonna to eat today, but I'm looking forward to it. Ray plum, one of the region's most well-known fruits, may look similar to a traditional plum, but let me tell you, it is very different. It's so sour, I would compare it to a Sour Patch Kid. Mm. Rainforest Bounty specializes in a lot of Queensland's superfoods, and I have to say that everything I just put in my mouth was pretty super. It's convenient that it was also good for me. This property happens to be stunning as well. Check out the river. I didn't realize how much of today would be focused on the fruit of Queensland, but this is fucking delicious. Well, what do they make with it? Tequila! You got it! And now for some aged agave and some Australian single malt. It's been just a fabulous day on this Outback Foodie Adventure. Many of the flavors I had never tasted before and are unique to Queensland. Super grateful that I had the chance. This last little nibble of dragon fruit ice cream was fabulous, a coffee for the road, and now we're headed back to Cairns. Super grateful for my friend Louise encouraging me to come on this journey and connecting me with the team today at Outback Foodie Adventures. And also very grateful just to have shared the journey with you. So let me know in the comments where you think I should eat next. Bye. Uh -huh.